lot of the bats that I worked on uh, are, live in forests. So we have to go to the forest and we usually take advantage of uh, either trails that are in the forest or streams. Uh, so bats have to go to stream to drink water. So that's a good place to catch them sometimes. You know, you're out there at night and you have the nets and you know, you have your flashlights off because you don't want to deter the bats from going. So every time you turn your flashlights and you see a bat, it's like Christmas because you don't know exactly what you're going to get. We use usually a leather glove because when you're getting the bats out of the net, um, they, you know, they're riled up, they tend to bite. So you, if you have the glove, you can give them, you know, a little bit of that and they just can chew on that and get them out of the net. I, I usually have an assistant with me uh, who will help me get the bats out of the net if I'm doing measurements at the same time. So the ones that we are going to release, we have to release them while it's still dark out so they're, they're not, you know, disoriented, <laughs> flying around during the day. So we were kind of working against the clock uh, there in the morning. And for the behavioral experiments, for all the feeding stuff, um, I've done flying cages, so basically like a big tent where you can release the bats and have the branches with the different foods. So that for the ones that eat fruits, for soft fruits we usually do like papaya or banana. Uh, and then for hard fruits we either we can collect figs or we do apple too. And then for the insects we do catch them in the field and uh, we usually uh, try to collect like a lot of, for example, beetles of the same size. Those are the hard ones that we feed them, and then to contrast them, we use crickets for soft things or mealworms too. We have found, for example, that just evolving certain characteristics that have allowed them to occupy new uh, diets, uh, dietary niches, that has kind of spurred their diversification. So evolving these like really weird and short faces that have allowed them to bite really hard, kind of have allowed them to exploit, uh, for example, really hard fruits, and that has contributed to them diversifying. Uh, in some ways, and the same thing might be happening in other other groups of bats, we just don't know yet. Mm -hmm.